What's going on guys, Master Turkey here. We're going to try checking out the PlayStation 4 jailbreak caching. Now, previously I was just using the hen cache, so I just cached hen itself. So this is for using the jailbreak off of the internet, so offline, using the jailbreak without internet connection and without an ESP8266. So basically, just using a jailbreak that's saved on the PlayStation 4 itself, it caches into the memory and then we we use it that way. So let's reconnect to the internet now so that I can pull up Al Azif's jailbreak menu and then we'll try either caching the whole thing and then we'll maybe go in and try just caching hen for the folks who just want to cache hen. Now, as you can see, I've already cached just hen itself, but we need to back out and just load the menu. So we're gonna, you know, close some stuff and then get back into the internet browser. Okay, so here's his menu. We're gonna go ahead and click on 5.05. Looks like it's caching redirect. I'm not sure. Now it's caching the theme. I'm not exactly sure what that's doing. We're still going to cache the whole thing anyways. It's interesting that it has Switch and Wii U jailbreaks on there. Not exactly sure why. But we're only interested in the PlayStation 4 right now. Okay, so here's here's all of our stuff. You've got app to USB, you've got backup, FTP, kernel dumper, Linux loader. So, you know, everything's here, but we want to try caching all of it. So let's go back and let's cache all. Okay, so now it's caching the whole jailbreak. I'm assuming that means that it's also caching the Switch and Wii U stuff, which is kind of lame, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. And this may take a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut, edit, or speed this up. Okay, so it looks like it's done caching. So let's go ahead and exit out, turn off our internet. First I'm gonna restart just for the hell of it. So let's open up the internet browser. There we go. There's our all of our jailbreak stuff. Let's make sure that the internet's still off just for the hell of it, just so that you guys can see that it's, you know, like the magician showing there's nothing up his sleeve. So the internet is off. Let's go back into the internet browser and let's run the payload. Let's run hen. Okay, success. So there we go. So Hen has now been run. Our jailbreak has been successful. And as you can see now the fake PKGs, we could open them if we wanted to. I do want to try just catching just the Hen itself because as it sits, it will automatically default back to the menu like this. I don't like this. I like to personally just have hen just run. I don't care about app to USB. I don't care about backup. I don't care about dumper. All I want is hen to work. So, so we're just going to cache hen and see what happens then. Okay, so you can see that it says auto load. So we're going to try selecting auto load on the hen. I, I'm assuming you can do that with basically any of these payloads. So we're going to try doing auto load on hen and seeing if that 
gets me what I want, which is just loading hen the moment that I open the internet browser. For the rest of you, if you want just the menu to pop up, then you know leave it alone. But for me, I want hen to just run. And there we go. Hen works just fine, auto loads. So I'm going ahead and leave this alone. For the rest of you, good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all my subscribers and everyone who interacts with me on the YouTube channel, RPCS3 community, PS4 Jailbreak community, everybody and everyone. Love you guys. Thanks a lot.